hola youtube world how is it going today we are today june 3rd 2020 and before we start off this video i want to start off by telling you guys that i am a little bit low on energy level so we're going to do it there is no sunshine because it has been raining literally like almost every single day for the past weeks or so which is not bad because it hasn't rained but you know considering that usually it would rain in haiti like um maybe in may um we had no rain in april so but the last few days of may going entering june it's been like raining like crazy so it's two o'clock in the afternoon it's really really hot i <laughs> it's because i haven't filmed and i was like you have to film like i haven't posted any videos and that was not the intention so the intention was not to um not film any videos for you guys because i told you the last time that i filmed i said to you guys that hey you know now i'm back my energy level was like there so i was like telling you guys that um you know i was going to film for you but something came up and that's why i wanted to talk and what happened just it kind of like threw me off balance it threw me off guard and i was like it just it sucked in my energy the month of may was such an incredible month for me when i tell you it was one of the most beautiful months that i've had thus far in the year of 2020 because you know everything was just perfect in my life and you guys could feel it like my energy level was there like after after the second vlog that i made for you i had so many videos lined up to film and the majority of these videos were going to be vlog but something came up and something happened and threw me off my balance threw me off my game threw me off everything and i was like damn and this is why for the remaining of um the month of may i didn't film anything so you know i wanted to at least start off june with posting and sharing so what are we going to talk to um today for today i don't know if i said so but we are june 3rd 2020 i apologize if i have this if you hear the fan if it's a little dark because the sun has set it's not setting but it's kind of like it's a little cloudy you know it looks like it's about to rain maybe like in a few more hours so i have to hurry up to film and get my exercise done because that's what i usually do uh, exercise before it starts to rain today we are going to talk about something that you guys i'll talk about it from a personal perspective but i feel like um it can be applied to any type of area in life you know what i mean um because it's very very important so what i'm going to speak about today we're going to talk about when the narrative has to change when you have to look at something and tell yourself that okay you know what i want my narrative to change because that was my situation a few weeks ago so i'll hurry up i don't want to make it too long um i think that i open up decently not so much on my channel with my personal life in terms of like you know maybe you know things that have to do with my family members you know and things of the sort but pretty much you know i do open up and i do share certain things with you guys and i think that in the past or i always talk to you about the fact that my birth mother is a very very dominant person has a very strong character and in the past and still now we've had our share of you know trouble because of that because i'm i don't want to say that i'm as dominant as hers but I just don't take well with um, that personality that she has. My mom is a Gemini. I'm a Libra sun, but my moon sign is an Aries. So that fiery sign that, you know, in my personality comes off a lot like hers as well. So we definitely clash. Um, so what happened? You guys know in the last vlog that I, you know, for the, okay, let's just go back and say that um, the Haitian culture is a culture where parents are very very possessive when it comes to their kids and from an american perspective it can come off as um a certain type of abuse and most definitely toxicity this is probably one of the main reason why i've observed a lot of clash with um the haitian youth the haitian american youth and their haitian parents because it is so these cultures are 
just totally different like when you're thinking about like the american culture and the fact that you know at 18 which 18 i don't agree with 18 being that you know your child is grown i don't believe that i feel like 18 is pretty no it's you still have a child but i do i do agree with the fact that at 18 you are now coaching a young adult so there is a definitely a level of boundaries of you know the way that you talk to your kids that has to change because you're not talking to a child right whereas in our haitian culture you literally could be 50 years old and these people are looking at you as if you are a child so when you think about these two cultures, you know, and I always say to you guys, for those of you who are, have been in my channel, oh, by the way, I really want to thank all my newcomers because the channel has grown a lot for the past month or so. So welcome to everyone, like all the new people that I have on my channel. I am so happy to see you there. I love the comment section. Like, I love what you guys are bringing into. So thank you for watching. So yeah, so as I was saying to you guys, right, it's, oh, there goes my father. He was out. He's coming in. So you guys have to give me like a second because they're going to open the gate. They're going to open the gate and I don't want it to mess up the video. So um, like I was telling you guys, like both of these cultures, right, when you're thinking about like the Haitian culture and the American culture, these are cultures that are very different, right? And it always like makes me wonder why the Haitian goes to leave in the United States because the way that they want to raise their kids in the United States is as if they want to raise these kids as if they were still here in Haiti, right? And these cultures, when it comes to upbringing, is very, very different. Give me a second. Okay, sorry. Um, just to say that, all right? Um, when I came to Haiti, when I came back to Haiti, I was 26. So at 26, I was an adult. But unfortunately, you know how it is when you come to live back with your families. And it's kind of like, you know, not only with the families, but I do have um, a parent. Like my mother is most definitely um, off the chain when it comes to control and of the change is using this word like very very likely like when it comes to control I think she has some major issues as far as like wanted to be the only one that everything goes so when I came to Haiti 10 years ago we had most definitely we met each other like I met her wherever she wanted me to meet her okay fill in the blanks all right so you know we had our share of you know of that because i was not about to leave back in the house and have her control my life and tell me what to do what not to do you know so i pretty much i lived my life i went about i enjoyed my country i did it i did exactly what i felt like i wanted to do however it came with a lot of a lot of like fights you know it came with always like an argument always you know and it was just like you know so now fast forward to 10 years now you know i don't make um i am in my mid 30s um you know do the math 26 10 years 36 i don't care about people knowing my age so um for the most part you know i came to haiti in 2019 and i had like so much to do and my focus wasn't really in outings my focus was in you know first the first year of 2019 i had a lot of videos that i really wanted to make you know so that's where my focus was my focus was in making these videos the country was very chaotic so you know i really wouldn't want it didn't really want to like you know go out so we entered 2020 and you guys can see that entering 2020 excuse me we entered 2020 and you guys can see that entering 2020 i'm still here in this country I was scheduled to depart the country in April. Everything was already set, but you know, the corona happened and here I am now. However, my mood is changing. Why? Because the bulk of my work is done as far as like the things that I needed. Not everything is not done because I still need to work on the consultation for the um, consultation, the website for that. But you know, I've been feeling pretty good, you know, just very excited, just very proud, just different personal, private professional goals that I have for myself that I feel like you know what despite the chaos that we have right now in this world you know I'm still moving forward and moving toward like my goals so hey let's celebrate 
so this led me to you know contact people reconnect with some friends reconnect with family members and led me to um ended up spending the weekend with my cousin now i'm not at the place of my life where now granted now i say this granted haiti is a country where you need to let people know where you where you're going because you know you just never know something may happen and you know in general in life when you are cohabiting cohabitating with people you kind of need to let them know hey you know what i'm stepping out i'll be back in two days but i don't know i didn't feel like i wanted to share with anyone that i was going away staying with my cousin and one of the reasons that i didn't want to say it is because i knew that my mother was going to have a problem with that because she has this she just wants people to be here right so i was like you know what i'm not gonna tell her anything like and i just went to spend the weekend with my cousin um when i came back right i came back on that monday night the car who picked me up wasn't the same car that dropped me now between you and i the car that dropped me it's because um in haiti right now we have like a semi curfew of like 8 p.m where it's kind of like they don't want you to be outside after you know after 8 p.m i say semi because you know people will be doing whatever they want to do here in haiti but sometimes you don't know how the cops are going to handle you if they see you outside so far you know people are just they don't really care here so um, fast forward so to monday night when i come back in um my cousin and i we did ended up going out with you know some of his friends and one of his friends dropped me back home <laughs> when the car came to drop me here and I, it was like one of like those um Volkswagen wagon okay and all tinted like the the windows were tinted i saw my mom come down the steps to open the gate and automatically i know that she knew that it was a different car because the car picked me up was a white car the car he dropped me was a black car <laughs> so knowing how she is she wanted to rush out to open the gate and to pretend like just to see if it was my cousin who came to drop me and listen i want to avoid having any type of altercation with my family in front of you know people that i don't know because it's so embarrassing you know especially at my age so i'm in the car now what saved me was that the gate was locked and she didn't know that the gate was locked so she had to legit go back upstairs to grab the keys and meanwhile i'm in the car with the guy so i say to him i'm laughing because now i can laugh but when i tell you i was not happy like let me tell you so i came so while she goes upstairs to go get the keys so i say to the guy um because by now it's like 9 30 ish so i said to the guy um i think it's better if you leave because it's already 9 30 and i don't want anything to happen to you um the guy was like no you know what i really want you to get inside while i'm here i was like no they already know that i'm outside like um they're going to open the gate you know thank you so much i so appreciate that you came to drop me off blah 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 but i just really wanted him to leave in the because i know that if my mom had opened the gate she was gonna step out and i didn't know what kind of reaction i was gonna have and i didn't want anything to happen you know in front of a stranger so um effectively the guy says are you sure about that i'm like yeah i'm sure and my dude is a cutie okay <laughs> yeah he's such a cutie that's between you and me so you know you don't want people to like but anyways so um he leaves and as he leaves she's already down right as he's leaving she's already down she's opening the gate and she sees the car live <laughs> now i'm entering the house she's fucking pissed off right she's so pissed but she she can't say anything to me and she's like i could see that she's she has an attitude but i had such a great time like a way that i'm like smiling and that shit i could feel like me being so light-hearted and so carefree it's like she wants to start some shit with me right so i'm like you know what i'm not even gonna pay attention to her i already know how she is like whatever so i go upstairs 
she comes after me upstairs and she's pissed off like i said she's just trying to look for an argument and then she says to me um oh you now mind you we all went out to eat you know we we listen we had a great time that following monday i didn't vlog any of this stuff because you know you know you meet people for the first time i'm not about to like have a camera in front of my face right but after that like you see after the last clip that i put we were on our way to go eat so um you know i'm having you know i'm so happy and then she goes upstairs and like i said to you she's she's, she's looking for an argument and then she calls my name she's like huh you know i don't say nothing to her i just come down i take the food i put the food away i'm still like chilled out and happy now this is when the altercation came the following day my cousin had to come here because I left my bag in his house because the reality is like we went to drop him and um, you know the the guy ended up taking me here so my my bag was with my cousin so I was like you know what don't it don't matter like you have to go to work you can bring for me anytime so my cousin came back the second day my um, on Tuesday to bring me my bag and when he came out to bring me my bag, he parked the car right there and he was like, cause I'm gonna talk to you. Like I really need to, you know, we wanted to spend some time together. So I said, okay. So I come out, right? But I come out through here because my mother was sitting in the front. And I didn't, like I said to you, I just, I really don't like for people to be in my business. Like, unless I'm sitting you down, excuse me, unless I'm, sitting you down and I'm asking you for your opinion I need for you to back the fuck up excuse the French I don't care back the fuck up right and it's just because I feel like sometimes parents have the tendency to meddle and just I just don't like that so she's sitting out in the gallery right there so I come through here and I walk up so she doesn't see me the first time but I needed for my cousin to help me with a phone and I had to go back upstairs to go to the phone. So as I'm coming back in, she sees me coming back in, right? So then I come out and I see her and my goddamn father out fucking side on this street. Walking around, pretending that they're just walking around. Meanwhile, I know for a fact they came out just because they wanted to know who the fuck was outside and who I was with. Yo, guys, listen, we got the saying in Creole. That's how I felt. Because I was like, the nerve of these people, like the car is parked all the way there. What if it was just somebody else I was with, you know? So when I saw this and my cousin was like, oh, that's uncle and auntie. I was like, you know what? I don't even like say nothing. He was like, you know did they come out because they, they want to know like who was outside blah 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 i was like you know how already how they are so okay i come back inside and i come back with my bag now you know her fucking cia has already seen me come in with the bag right she comes upstairs and she knocks on the door i open the door for her and now she says to me oh not only now she says this in Creole but I'll, I'll translate for you in English she said oh so you tell me that you went to sleep over at these people's house and you left your bag at their house yo guys I tell her exactly what I think of her like let's just put it like this I tell her exactly what I think of her and I tell her exactly what I think of her meddling in my fucking business at my age Sorry, guys. So we go a little bit. Hold the camera. It's telling me that due to the heat, it's stopping the video. So I can't even remember where we were at. I think we were at when I told you the guys that she came inside the room, and she told me that, oh, you know, you went to this people's house, and not only did you sleep over at this people's house, mind you, these are these are her goddamn family. Okay, she is cray cray. These are her family. Like my cousin is my cousin from my her side of the family. Like her his father was so close to her like but it just tells you, you that about how she's most of like just wanted people to have like anyway so i just 
when she comes in the room and she tells me this bullshit about me leaving my bag I tell her exactly what I think about her meddling in my business at my age right and she gets mad she tells me something and I tell her something else right so when she says that to me and when I go at it with her I just tell her okay you need to leave the room leave the room and then she leaves the room and I get so fucking mad and I sit there and listen guys she gets let's just be really honest she gets me so mad that all the gifts that I had um, ordered for her for Mother's Day I cancel everything I was so upset I cancel everything her birthday and Mother's Day's coincide and I had gift for her for her birthday gift for her for Mother's Day I just cancel all this shit I'm like you know what but then I was talking to my friend about that I talked to two people but one of the other person who is um, Olina at the first lady Haitian I'm touching my camera to make sure that it's not so hot at the first lady Haitian and I we were talking about that and she resonated a lot now the other lady I understand where she was coming from but you know this happened it actually the first thing is like it really upset me okay because I was like at my age I should not have to you know go through this with my parents with my mom with my parents too because my father went outside it's like for what <laughs> I'm laughing because it's like when I tell you that living in Haiti has developed so many different traits about me um, because it's like you have to just okay anyways so you know after that you know I was very angry um, inward angry because I was like I don't wanna like I should not have to go through this at my age and um, I was speaking to my girlfriend one of my girlfriends and then she said to me well you know what you know that your mom is super controlling and you know that your mom is the way that your mom goes about it so for me I feel like you should have not even let that phase you you should have kept it moving even when she came inside the room you know she was heated of the fact that she saw you come with a different car and she didn't know who dropped you off and I said to my friend yeah but you know that should not have to me she said sis you already know what's up with these Asian people and you know what's up with your mom like she's super controlling and you leave in here unless you leave it's always going to be like this and then my other friend Olina and I at the first lady Haitian we were talking about it and Olina understood what I was saying and Olina agreed that you know what you're gonna run into the scenarios if you leave here at home and after being upset that you know me being upset fucked up my entire week because I was supposed to head out I was supposed to do so many other errands but I was so mad because you know when this is why I tell you the guys that I don't like to be upset because when you're upset it's kind of like here you are you upset and then all the work that you have to do because YouTube is fun it's it allows me to bring out my creativity and do so many different things but it's it's also work you know it's also work it's also creating you know so me I had already the videos that I wanted to do we were supposed to go up the mountain but my energy was off and I was like mm, let's not do this so this is when I understood that the narrative has got to change this is when I understood that I don't want to go back to the same narrative this is when I understood and I said to myself the narrative has got to change and I sat with myself because after speaking to both of these women and they each have their views now mind you one of my girlfriends stayed with me so she's pretty she knows the family structure and the family dynamics but me saying that the narrative has to change is me understood understanding that hmm you know her see the thing with it is that she didn't even really say anything that's like out of character to me really she didn't but her coming off and getting upset because I spent a weekend away with family mainly because somebody else dropped me and she wanted to know who the fuck dropped me off made me realize that hmm you got comfortable 
remember what I said about getting comfortable. It made me realize that you got comfortable. Why? Because so far I've been here, you know, me and them, me and Ben, them being me and my parents, you know, everything has been running smoothly. I dated last year, which ended up so horrible, but I kept all this shit to myself because, you know, I do not listen. If you are a Haitian person, you can relate to this shit. I do not sit there and speak to my parents about my personal romantic life because all they're going to say is like, oh, no, they do that. Oh, no, do that. Oh, no, do that. It's like you got to spend your entire life with them. So, um, I, I'm understanding that I got comfortable and her reacting like that in a way is a blessing. The reason that it's a blessing is because it made me, it, it snapped me back into my reality of understanding this. Yes, it's a family home, but this is your parents' home and you have got to change your narrative because they're not going to change. They're not going to change. This is something that everyone that ever that has ever even come to visit me understood. My parents dictate their homes in a particular way my mother does. She's super controlling. Like saying that she's super controlling is me having a very lack of vocabulary. She's just possessive to a point where it's toxic. She wants to run everybody's life and I'm not about that. And I'm not about fighting with anyone. Like I'm at the point of my life where I feel like if I want to spend a weekend with a guy and I just want to like dip it and do it and go about my day, tell you deuces, thank you, we're just having a good time. This is my life. You know what I mean? This is my life. I don't have to sit there and discuss my privacy. But not with this Haitian petit. Not with them. So I came in and I shared this with you guys as far as like a personal thing that happened to me recently. And me understanding where it's kind of like you got comfortable. You forgot. And now this it, it was so important because it's kind of like one of my friends always says to me that you internalize so much. I don't internalize. When something happened, I like to sit with it and analyze. Okay, what just happened? Where did I go wrong? What could I have done better? And where did I fall or what is the lesson? And for me, it was like I said to you, understanding that your mother never changed. You just never give her a reason to show you that she was still the same. Meaning that, you know, I was here all the time because I didn't feel, you know, like in 2019, I didn't feel like going out. 2020 came in. I told you that the, the beginning of 2020, I was just like out of like a lot of energy. You know, I was like just out of energy. And now I'm feeling like when I tell you that I'm feeling good, like, honey, listen, we're about to pop in the summertime. Okay. Whether I'm here, whether I go back to the state. But her doing the shit to me, I was like, okay, we're going to have a problem. I don't think that the way that I'm seeing my summer, if I'm staying in Haiti with the videos that I want to make, with all the things that I want to do, with the new friends or the new acquaintances that I'm making, the people that are gravitating toward me. Because beauty is a lot about energy. You know, sexiness is about energy. You know, people feel your energy. You know, lately I've been feeling beautiful. I've been feeling good. And because I've been feeling good, it's kind of like, you know, I get, I go get my, my hair done like almost, this is a, this is not even a week of a haircut, okay? Not even a week, the hair is already growth. But because I'm feeling like sexy, I'm feeling like a particular way, I'm like, you know what, we're gonna get this hair done like every week, you know, go back popping, you know, getting my nails done. So people are feeling this energy, you know. I could step right there, people are just all eyes on me. And I'm, I am in that mood. You know, like I told you, my work is doing good. You know, I, I'm feeling good. So, yeah, you know, I want to go out. But that woman upstairs, we're going to have a problem. So, I said to myself, okay, all right, the narrative has got to change. And by me saying that the narrative has got to change is me understanding that the foundation has already set. You know, for the past nine years like since i came back one of the main reason that i stayed home was because i needed the work to get off the ground and you understand that first of all renting in haiti is crazy and i don't really feel like i want to rent 
out of people you know it's 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 not so much fun it's not so bad but it's not so fun and considering everything that you need to make sure that your house is equipped with for me it would be like the access to the internet having water very very important those are basic things for those of you who watch me like in developed country those are basic things that people have but when you live in a country like Haiti and if you step in now those are things that you need to always make sure like okay water do I have access to good water right portable water um, am I gonna have to buy water those are all the things that you need and you know being at home gave me that luxury to not have to deal with that because you know my parents are able to like handle their household but it comes with a lot of other things such as not being able to have my freedoms the way that I would want to have my freedom like go out come in and out however I felt like it so this is when I felt and my friend was like well you know like can you just like roll with the punches i'm like you know what since we're here for the moment but i'm understanding that the narrative has got to change so what are we about to do okay we're stepping out and i'm not saying that as far as like oh i'm mad you know no it's just like you got to understand when the narrative of your life has to change and i feel it like my entire being feels it because i'm understanding that hmm this is it's not gonna change you know that's just the way that she is that's just the way that she operates her household it does not matter how old that you are my sister who is a married woman my sister has been married for almost 20 years I see how my mom tries to control her life and mind you the woman is married has her own home everything like but me no we're not doing this shit with her ass we are not so I went into a non-speaking term with her. I still don't speak to her, but she's so crazy that she just had this conversation with me. Like while I'm next to her, she just openly has this conversation with me. Like talk to me, say my name as if I'm, and I pretend that she's not here. Like boundaries is not a word that is part of the Haitian culture. Okay. My father is different. You know, I stopped talking to him. I know he knows that it's because he stepped out. I feel like, you know, you could just why is it that if she tells you to do something you gotta run with it why can't she just be like uh no like why can't you step in and be like no but i feel like sometimes i feel like my father is under under like he's under under like he pretends like he's cool but he's not okay i'm not about to have this shit with your ass so that should piss me off okay guys it made me feel a particular way you know i was like what 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 just we're not doing this shit mommy no fuck that no you're not about to control shit so i had to um i had to think about something and you know i couldn't make my videos because i was so pissed i was mad you know i was not like mad oh i'm so angry but i was just sad i was sad you know that's the thing i was sad because i was like hmm you know i don't want to go through this shit with them again but I was like, but this is when I understood that, okay, the narrative has to change. You are not at the place of the life where you were, meaning that I don't want to put any energy into having any arguments with anyone. No, no, we're not doing this. I'm not arguing with people over things that I have. Listen, when I tell you, like, I'm in the peaceful mood, you like, my life, listen, by a problem, okay? And I'm not trying to have any fucking problem. I want to have a smooth, a peaceful and a good life and sometimes you know the other thing that I'm going to say is that sometimes people can feel when you are having a beautiful life and they're trying to figure out okay what's going on why is she so like poised why is she so like oh my god and it may be upsetting to someone that it, your happiness may be very upsetting to someone um, especially of the fact that I have to be very honest and tell you guys like I don't really open and share my life with my family with anybody in this household and it comes from the fact that I just prefer to live a very like keep my stuff to myself that's just something that I've learned just observing I just prefer because I always feel like you just never know how someone is going to react about the way that you work about like there are certain things in your life that needs to be private for my younger women and for my older people who don't know that your love life your money moves okay and your love life your money moves and you know how much money you make how you make your money all these things needs to be quiet you have to learn that i don't open um, up to her because we have different views 
about life I'm more of a person who loves to enjoy life and I really believe in living a beautiful life meaning living a life where you don't have to slave this is what I teach you guys this is why I have oh by the way the youth agency website is up our programs are up I'll tell you guys at the end of the video so but this is why I do what I do is because I really I I don't teach you guys what I don't practice right I don't teach you guys to come to Haiti and I'm not in Haiti. I don't teach you guys to open a business and I don't have an operating business. Everything that I teach is are things that I feel like, okay, you know what? I've done that. It's It has a work for me and I'm in a good, decent place of my life. So why not tell you, hey, take that route. If you take that route, it's going to be better. But some people believe in slaving. What can I say? Some people believe in working hard. And working hard for these people mean that you're doing something. Right? Look at this. I've been in Haiti going on two years. Look at, like, let's put money out of the equation. Like, guys, listen. You better listen to me, okay? You'll have a much, much more better life if you listen to me. So anyway, this video is long already. I have to film a second video. We're going to talk about hair products. But I really wanted to come in. I, you know, it, it, you know, you guys were supposed to receive so many videos from me. You know, the month of May was a beautiful month. You know, this little altercation and you know happened like the last week of May, right before her birthday. Um, so it's kind of like it threw me off my balance with the videos that I wanted to make, and that pissed me off because I'm like, look at this shit. You let this piss you off so much that you were supposed to make videos and you were supposed to do this but the because you guys have been you know responding so much to the vlogs you know i was planning outings with other people but when the person is doing that to you you're like god damn it like i don't want to go to that so i had to you know go in and rethink re-strategize and rethink this is why i say when i named this video when the narrative has changed and I share my personal experience, one aspect of my life, but applies this to everything. To everything, including what is right now going on in the world. I don't want to talk about it because I've talked about it before five years ago. I have a video out, no justice, no piss. Watch it if you want to. But sometimes, most times, the narrative of your life has to change, right? the narrative has got to change all right ladies and gentlemen thank you so much we are back i will do my best to film the remaining vlogs for you i do i do plan to do a lot of outings i do plan to have a great summer wherever i am if i'm still here if i decide to travel i was supposed to travel in april traveling is still part of like big time i'm just waiting for them to reopen but even when i'm here in haiti i am planning to just like leave this house and just do you know go away for a little bit <laughs> so guys listen do not forget that i run consultation for those of you who are interested in doing business in haiti um all the information ouch sorry for me all the sorry so sorry so all the information is on the description box i also operate the youth agency for those of you who don't know the youth agency you can find everything about it the website is now up and running so check out the website um if you are interested in either wanting to open a business in haiti or if you want to run a project in haiti or if you want to purchase land in haiti i'm still working on um the website for the consultation so that should be that should be up hopefully by the fall I, I take a long time to work on projects because at times i work on different projects so guys thank you so much for listening to me i know many of you are going to resonate with what happened leave me your thoughts and um see you soon <laughs>